Well over 100 people made their way to the corner of Jefferson and Illinois, but not everyone was rallying to defund Planned Parenthood. Another group was there to show support for the clinic. The groups don't agree on much, but they do agree that Congress may be closer than it's ever been to defunding Planned Parenthood. You didn't see one type of person in either of these groups. Men, women, teenagers, and even young children were well represented on both sides. Health care is a human right. I mean, we're just here to support, uh, support life. Local pro-life activists organized the defund rally to coincide with hundreds across the country. They want to see Congress completely defund Planned Parenthood because they provide abortions. Our goal is not for women to not have the services they need, but to have them provided by organizations that do not provide abortions. Less than 3% of the services they provide are abortion services. So the other 97 plus percent of services they provide are health care, affordable health care for low income people of all genders. A group rallying in support of Planned Parenthood mobilized when they heard about the defund rally. They call the time scary as the possibility of Planned Parenthood getting defunded could be closer, as several members of the Republican-led Congress have vowed to do so. It's a definite possibility, yeah, um, but that's why we're trying to change that conversation, just because, you know, federal funds don't even go towards the 3% of the abortions that are actually performed. So we hope that, uh, that our <coughs> leaders in Washington are listening or are looking around and seeing all the people here that that believe that we shouldn't be giving taxpayer dollars to fund abortion. According to Planned Parenthood's website, Fort Wayne's Jefferson Boulevard location does not provide abortions. In Studio 15, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.